Welcome back, everybody. So, The Walking Dead, Season 10, Episode 5, Review. This episode is by far the best episode so far in this series. Um, for many, many reasons. There is a, quite a fair bit that's going on in this uh, episode, but generally there is one storyline which is going on in this which I paid particular attention to. Um, and I think you, if you've seen this episode, you know exactly the bit I'm on about. So, basically in this episode is uh, a follow-on from the last episode. Negan has basically escaped with the aid of somebody and i'm gonna wait just to get into that kind of storyline of it because there's quite a fair bit to talk about on that one there are other subplot lines going on here with uh king ezekiel and you, you know there's illness being spread across the camps the whisperers are playing a very very um big influence on what's going on in the communities as well in other words they're tightening their grip or taking little nips as it said in this um in this episode so basically in this episode the whisperers are essentially poisoning the water uh they created the kind of uh, the tree falling down to break down the walls they're sending walkers to them that their way and there's just all sorts of different little things that the whispers are responsible for which are putting a lot of tension on the communities which are basically trying to break them down and to be honest with you it is actually working um there's also other subplot lines going on in here with kelly who's basically going deaf there is a moment at the beginning of this episode where you actually think that she may have actually been um uh being eaten or attacked by walkers where it comes with one problem probably that i have with this there was no explanation about how she got out of that because you know there's she's just there so she must have either killed the walker or something i don't know it's just one of those things there wasn't really a lot of explanation here we also got another subplot line of going on there's uh, supplies going missing from hilltop they then later find the supplies i'm trying not to talk too much about it because i don't want to give too much away just in case you haven't seen it but by far the most interesting storyline in this episode is negan okay so like i said I kind of know the role that he's going to be playing in the next few episodes up until the mid-season finale. Uh, that's not because I read the comics. I do. I have a terrible tendency with The Walking Dead to like watch videos. And there's one channel that I watch who religiously has uh, read the comment, comics of The Walking Dead and done that. So i have not spoil it for myself. I just kind of know the direction of which way this is going. And the most interesting point of this this episode is mainly, I think, should have been just focused around Negan because it was absolutely brilliant what he was doing in there. His performance in this is absolutely fantastic and you get to see a return of the old Negan, but yet you know it's kind of like a front. This really, really could. There's a cracking scene in here with a mum and a son and all that and you, he seriously loses his shit with this one person that helped him escape and he, he loses it on an epic scale as well and you can see that tension and it's a very interesting point in the episode because even i felt for this felt for negan as well and felt for the mum and son i really felt that kind of emotion and i found that really really interesting really really good um bit of acting there it, just from jeffrey d morgan himself he is a great actor anyway and then him playing negan in this is absolutely fantastic other interesting points of this, um, oh god, it's just mainly all Negan, his performance in this is absolutely fantastic, you know, it's been a long time since he's had any major kind of big role in The Walking Dead, well, the season, season a bit, and it's just really, really cool to see him being more in introduced into The Walking Dead again, so he's not this kind of, uh, gardener kind of prisoner in uh, Alexandria anymore, you get, he there's definitely a better role there for him and I'm really enjoying it. And not only that, you get to see the return of Lucille and the old Negan, which right at the end of this episode is absolutely fantastic in every single way. Just shot me straight back to like season seven, season eight of, you know, and it was, I just really, really enjoyed it. The whole episode I actually really, really enjoyed. Like I said, I kind of know what's going to be happening. 
um, as the rest of this season goes on because I have watched some of the videos that are the, uh, there's one one channel that I watch and he's pretty damn but you know he's pretty damn good at predicting what's going to be happening in The Walking Dead to be fair and you know so I kind of know what's going to be developing I just like the fact that the whispers are tightening their grip on the communities they're preparing and they're just going to take them they're putting pressure on them i love the fact that negan is literally going searching for the whispers um which i really really enjoy a lot to be fair and that scene just at the end for me was awesome i absolutely loved it you know i i I enjoyed the whole episode. I enjoyed everything that was going on with Kelly. There were all the other little subplots which are going on in this episode. Which, to be fair, there's quite a fair bit going on in this. But the main bit for me that I really enjoyed is Negan. His return to his old ways, so to speak. Um, I do kind of know what's happening. I, I, I'm not I'm not even going to give it away. But this is, episode is just absolutely brilliant in every single way for me. I really, really enjoyed it. It's my favourite episode out of the whole of the season so far and I cannot wait until next Monday to see the development of this as well so um yeah I'm pretty damn excited so on that note please tell me what you think put it in the comments down below as normal hope you all have a great rest of the day whatever you're doing please take care and goodbye <laughs>